Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this autumn evening as we are returning to the world of Ted Lasso. This is season one, episode eight. And yes, I almost said Laszlo. That's why I'm over <laughs> But we had an episode where lots was going down. The hormones, the harmonious, the hormones were in the air. We had an away game. And I guess when away, your personality changes. So we had Rebecca having eyes with Mr. Waiter Man. Yes, it looked as if they were gonna hook up, but she did get that text from Ted saying thank you for being there for her when he was freaking out. Maybe she thought it. Don't know why she would, but there was a look. She had a look. And then we had Roy lay one humdinger of a kiss on Keely. I'm still feeling that kiss. I would like to feel that kiss, please. And thank you. That is how you kiss. Just Mm. Mm. And then Rebecca's friend, Flo, has arrived in town to be supportive of her friend and has encountered Ted. Because <laughs> I don't think Ted's in the headspace. Oh, oh, there's a woman who's interested in me. Perhaps romantically. He, just a woman has come into his room. And then what? <laughs> Maybe he offered her a biscuit. Who knows? But lots more happened, but we're just going to dive in to the next episode because we're getting near the end of season one already. And you all have been great being with me on this adventure. So we are going to get, I have a cozy, comfy blanket here somewhere. You're going to remember that the full episode of Watch Along is available with me on Patreon, where I would love to see you. Otherwise, give a subscribe, give a like, and tell me what you're drinking because tonight I have on the menu an orange tango. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> so if you're ready, I think I'm ready. And let's get to it. Oh, are we still in Liverpool? Is this the night after? Coach, over here. Oh, Thank coming. God. Did they... Oh, Nate. <laughs> Why is Nate in the hold? You okay? Oh, I just didn't want to miss the bus, so I just slept in here. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to vomit. Sorry. Oh, why? I'm cool. Oh, Rebecca did. Okay. Cheers. What am I doing? This is my fucking room. Oi! Out! <laughs> hey, oh, oh! I, I got you a coffee. <gasps> he is fully, fully dressed. You gotta go. Uh, yeah. But, you know, you don't need to rush out or anything. I, I got you a late checkout. That was very kind of him. I have a thought for later. Okay, well, um, well I'll see you around, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he does not do the morning after well. Right, so the reason last episode I got so twitchy about the fax machine. I worked in hotels for 17 years. You have a fax machine. Big hotel, small hotel. You have a fax machine. <laughs> You just do. <laughs> oh, Nate's not doing well at all. Coach. Nobody's doing well this morning. <clears throat> yeah, look, I'm going to tell you something, but then I don't want to talk about it ever again, okay? Okay. I'm serious. I don't want to make jokes about it. I don't want you to give me any knowing glances. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Mm -mm, not happening. I slept with Rebecca's friend, Sassy. Want to talk about it? I'd love to. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> 23, so young. What's she listening to? Always murder podcasts. I feel what he's feeling right now. Mm. I could really use a bucket of coffee to nurse this hangover. Do you want to go get one with me when you're done? Today, I, I can't. I'm busy. Look, it, it just not something I've ever done before, okay? And, and look, hey. Oh, well, Nate's in on this conversation, too. Ooh. You know, nuts for butts, have at it. That's what I said. Wait, who else is in this room? Come on, Coach, I don't like all that kiss and tail stuff. Coach, did you have fun? Is that Higgins? Oh, I didn't notice it, recognize him without his suit. So then what's the problem? I mean, maybe I just haven't really come to peace with the fact that I went from having a mental breakdown at a karaoke joint in Liverpool to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, sleeping with a woman I just met. And then somewhere in between there, getting a divorce. 
actually that sounds like a pretty understandable transition. Yeah, ever since I was little, I always used to dream about sitting down with a bunch of mates talking about the complex dynamics between men and women. Uh, should I tell Rebecca? No, no, no. Oh, no. Why not? I, I mean, it'd break my heart if I found out she was hiding something from me. You seem intent on going 12 rounds with yourself. Why? Because he what feels guilty. Wrong? Nothing. Time to get you some of these. Yeah, to cut yourself some slack. Wow. Y'all stuck the landing on that. That was nice. Tell you what, I got to get y'all some satin jackets made. With Ted Lasso's personal dilemma squad embroidered on the back there. There's got to be something better here. The EQ Warriors. And the Proud Boys. No! No! What about the Diamond Dogs? Diamond Dogs. I'm trying to see what's on Higgins' shirt. Oh, back to Higgins! I can't tell what's on his shirt. Ooh, why? We played West Ham, so I'm in town. No, I just uh, wanted to talk. I dated a lot of girls, right, but you... You saw an even greater Jamie inside an already great Jamie. You also taught me to try to not get in my own way so much, so. You're welcome, Jamie. You know, this is go. the first time you've been over to this house and you haven't sent me some, like, weird sex emoji. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Let him go. Right. Let him. Do you want to have a drink with me? Unless by drink you mean. Killing them! So that's how you get sex. By not trying for sex. Sometimes that is exactly how it works. I'm so disappointed. I also got you a little box of chocolate. Oh, he drugs. feels so guilty. Fuck, I don't do this to me. <laughs> Smush it in between the biscuits like it's a little breakfast sandwich or something. Like, well, yeah, there you go. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> if you do want to be there for me, I have a meeting later with two minority owners of the club, the Milk Sisters. The Milk Sisters. Yeah, they never shut up. Ooh. How much of the club they own? 2.9%. I'm going to round that down to two. Then I can call those gals the 2% Milks. Oh, God, they're going to adore you. It's going to be fun. 2.9% is oddly specific. Are they Rupert's family members? I can find good opportunities for you guys if you let me know what you're into. I love Air Jordans. I'm into issue-oriented products, you know, pro-environmental, anti-pollution, that kind of thing. Oh, and also Air Jordans. I think, I think, I think Nike's got a little tap down on the Air Jordans. Bolos. Ooh. And chocolate, then? No. Just Rolos, yeah? I love a good Rollo egg, and I can rarely find them anywhere. I guess the Cadbury caramel eggs are the closest. Fishing? Do you want to see a movie later? What is wrong with you? What? I asked you if you want to go get coffee with me yesterday, and you said you were busy. I was busy. What about the kiss? You took off like it was a shit kiss, and it was not a shit kiss. I was on fire. I agree. Listen, I'm a professional footballer. I have had... A million one night stands. So have I. When it's all done, I feel like. Uh, shit. Mm -hmm. And I always end up with my watch being stolen or a story in the press about how my penis has a curve in it. Does it actually? No, I just make it feel like it does with my hips. Anyway, the point is, I'm trying to do this differently. <laughs> I should have told you that. Yes, yes, you should have. Trying to be more honest. Thank you. Okay then. I think you should know that I slept with Jamie. Jesus. I mean, last night. I didn't think you were into me. I didn't know what you wanted, and I knew exactly what he wanted. Right, so you fucked him to get back at me for something I didn't even know I did? Yes, she did. No. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I fucked up, Roy. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry. Um, well, why don't you just come and tell me how you feel about it once you've figured out how to speak again? Speaking of Roy, I know some of y'all were saying that he knows the words to let it go because he's probably watched it with his niece. Oh no, I think he's watched it by himself several times. Hi, Roy. Hmm. 
Diamond Dogs, let's go. Is that grunt all I get to go on? That's okay, I'll give it a shot. Here, ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> Look, me and Kaylee might be starting up a thing, but every time I think about her, all I think about is Jamie fucking Tart. Sounds to me like someone's trapped inside life's most complicated shape. I love trying. <laughs> does my face look like it's in the mood for shape-based jokes? No, Roy, it does not. But in my defense, it rarely does. <laughs> I'm sorry, his face as he's talking. In a matter Jesus, of minutes, your relationship faces. dilemma will be in the past. Oh no, he's calling the diamond dogs. Who the fuck are the diamond dogs? Okay, so this is about you and Keely, right? <laughs> Nothing like the early days of courtship. Okay, this is my fucking nightmare. <laughs> the door is wide open. <laughs> sure, Roy here has slept with a bunch of different people in his past, but Keely's got her own romantic and sexual history that predates Roy, and that's not okay. <laughs> I love it when Coach does sarcasm. I, I can't control my feelings. Well, then by all means, you should let them control you. Ah, oh, he's doing it again. I <laughs> good eye. She slept with him last night. I mean, are you two officially dating? No. Have you already slept together? No. Coach, you want to bring this home? Grow up and get over it. Oh, yes, Coach Beard. The Diamond Dogs have struck again. Wow. <laughs> little pricks. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna be an utter gentleman, okay? Hey, I wonder if they've ever seen the movie uh, Bridget no. Jones' Dairy. Sorry, that's not my breast milk pond. I can oh, do better. Oh, come on. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Why is he there? Thank you. May you are as delicious as ever. From your West End to your Marble Arch. Keep your big bed in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your invitation, but we're actually here to meet with the Milk Sisters. Oh, they won't be coming now. No, no, no. They sold his shares to Rupert. They were nice enough to sell their minority share to Bex here. Mm. I always uh, thought I'd finish paying off my student loans before I purchased a football club. <laughs> 2.9%. Well, when we're married, what's hers will be mine, and what's mine, well, that will stay mine. Cause I'm... So you better join us for a drink. Everyone drinks with us. It's on me. Well, I am so glad she brought Ted with him. That's not news she needed to have on her own. I'm done being mad about Jamie. I'm a grown man. I'm not a baby child. I'm over it. Mm. I think he's going to need more than a couple of hours to sort through his emotion. Hi, Keely Jones, the independent woman. Would you please repeat what you just said? I'm over it. Uh, yeah, you. <laughs> Keely Jones, the independent woman online edition. So why should I trust this sudden change of heart? Because I like you more than I hate him. Ooh, that's a good answer, I, I think. Mean, barely, it's very close. <laughs> yeah, woman with the hair. Could you please elaborate on the hip movement that makes your penis feel like it has a curve in it? Right, no more questions. <laughs> we'll see you on the pitch. <laughs> Our club's nightmare is over now. I'm back. No. So, Rebecca. It's time to be friends again. Especially nope. since Bex and I are going to be nope. sitting with you every week in that owner's box. Every week when they shove a camera in my face and ask me how I think you're doing, I will tell them it'll be relentless. And this woman, Bex Rebecca, thinks this is attractive. Or is she just seeing dollar signs? Do you like darts, Ted? Oh. They're okay, I'm more of a, you know, a cornhole man myself. I mean, we could, you know, maybe wager, say, 10,000 pounds? Uh, how about this? If you win, I'll let you pick the starting lineup of the last two games of the season. 
But if I win, you can't go anywhere near the owner's box, at least not while Rebecca's still in charge. Uh, double in, double out. Whatever you say, Rupa Doops. Yeah, just... Rupa Doops. <laughs> oh, I forgot I had these on me. Oh, wait a second. I forgot I'm left-handed. Oh, it's gonna be a hoot. I'm not left-handed either. Are you dating other people? It's okay if you are, it's just that I wanna know so that I don't look stupid. It was yoga, okay? I do yoga with a group of women in their 60s. They've no idea who I am. It's twice a week and it's really good for my core. Normally only takes an hour, but Maureen's just been going through a divorce and she needed to talk about it and blow off some steam. We all ended up at GAY till 2 a.m. and then we had crepes and balums with some drag queens. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> I know that you want to take this slow, and I really do respect that, but maybe I could just touch your ass a little bit, or you could touch mine. <gasps> oh, no! You're supposed to ask before you take something. For example, may I take this? No, well, I'm fucking taking it. <laughs> Pictures of our first date. Come on, I'm cooking for you. <laughs> it's not all Ted's fault. My ex-wife's the one who brought the hillbilly to our shores. I know she's always been a bit randy, but I never thought she would fuck over an entire team. Winker. He's got a winker. Two triple twenties and a bullseye. How about just a couple of bullseyes? You know, Rupert, guys have underestimated me my entire life. God, please take back this up, back this up, back this up. Quote by Walt Whitman, it was painted on the wall there. It said, be curious, not judgmental. All them fellas that used to belittle me, not a single one of them were curious. And I realized that they're underestimating me. Who I was had nothing to do with it. <laughs> God, please back this up, Ted. Please back this up. Questions like, have you played a lot of darts, Ted? <laughs> oh! Which I would have answered every Sunday afternoon at a sports bar with my father from age 10 to I was 16 when he passed away. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> that was fun, yeah. <laughs> Only one thing left to do now. What's that? Drinks are on me! <laughs> Good day to be in the pub. Thank God Ted backed it up. Oh, it could have gone either way. It could have. But I need a favor. We'll die for you, coach. That's a little dramatic, Sam, <laughs> but I see how you got there with me invoking the military and all. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a second. Let me get my spot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hear you. <laughs> uh, we have 10,000 unsold seats for the final match of the season. Release them to the visitors. Mm. Our home stadium will be a sea of sky blue. <laughs> that will kill Rupert. Oh, oh, you know, still... Fuck off! Excuse me. She still wants to sing the club. You won't take away your pain by constantly punishing Rupert. Where were these morals when you were having lunches with me so Rupert could have sex in our house? Oh, she's punishing Higgins as well. Should have been braver. And I'm, I'm sorry for that. Stop it. Or what? I quit. You'll come back, grovel for your job, and I'll take you back. But I will make your life just that little bit worse. <gasps> Roy and I found it on a paparazzi camera card. He said you hired him. Either you come clean to Ted or I'll do it for you. <gasps> oh! 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 Well, some shit went down, didn't it? Oh! 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 oh. Where to even... Where to even begin? This has some highs and lows. We had the lows of, okay, 
Keely, oh, trying to stick it to Ted by sleeping with Jamie. Noah. I'm glad she fessed up to it later and realized what she did. Roy overcoming that was actually kind of huge considering the world we live in today. Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca. Oh. Well, we have a couple more seasons, so obviously some things get smoothed over. So the how will be interesting, and I think it will be painful because Ted is just such a decent guy. That's the thing is, it's not necessarily that he's nice, but he's kind, and he's just decent. <laughs> and that's so rare. And so seeing Mr. Decent Man get hurt is not going to be good for me. And Rupert is, ugh. Rupert, I see Rupert, and I get that horrible sour ugh, taste after like 30 seconds after you eat a Hershey's chocolate, and the only reason you're hitting the Hershey's chocolate is because there's no other chocolate around and you're desperate. Ugh. That's, that's what I get when I see Rupert. Seriously, the only reason you're willing to marry a man like that is for the Benjamins and, mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And so I'm so glad. Oh, that tart board scene. Seriously, it could have gone either way. Storytelling wise, could have gone either way. It could have been Ted sticking it to Rupert because, yeah, he's our hero. Or he could have just ever so slightly have missed because he's not perfect. But he was trying. And so the effort that he was making to try to support Rebecca mm. Mm. It, so I'm glad he, he made the shot but now we've learned that Ted's father passed away when Ted was 16 and that was obviously very formative because why wouldn't it be so we're nearing the end of the season for reels not just show wise but but football club wise because they got a couple games left the final game of the seasons against Jamie's team Oh, okay. <laughs> so there we go. Episode eight. I'm going to be ho oh, on this one <laughs> ruminating for a while. But thank you so much for being with me. I know I'm going to have to have edited out so much that I was thinking and feeling because it just can't show the whole thing. But so thank you for being with me for the little bit that you were. I do greatly appreciate it. And this is your reminder to please stand up walk around the room a bit refill your glass and then come back and watch the next episode in the queue because i'm watching lots of things and i want you there with me so thanks again you all and until next time <laughs>